Hey everybody, this is Gemma Serpentine Dream. Uh, welcome back to another video. Uh, I've seen a lot of people trying out this bedding now. Figured I'd give my two cents on it. Uh, Herptopia, it's coconut fiber substrate. Uh, it comes, I say the bag looks like this. And it comes already broken up, so you don't have to soak it or chop it apart with a chisel or wait two or three hours to start using it. So it comes real loose, already shredded. So it makes it really, really easy to use right out of the bag. And there's a couple options. Um, you can get the small bag, which is around a cubic foot, um, for like 15, 16 bucks. But if you call them, you can get um, this bag. I call it a breeder bag. And it's two cubic feet. Um, it's for like 25 bucks. You save eight bucks. Basically, you get two bags for, you know, in one and save eight dollars while you're doing it. Um, you'd have to call them though, you can't get it from their website for the breeder bags. The regular bags you can. Um, and then there's a three bag minimum. Uh, for me to get three bags, have it shipped here, it's about 95 bucks. Uh, it'd probably be a little different for a few people, but it's about my average cost. Um, I'll go and show you some of the tubs real quick and, and kind of see uh, how it's doing. And what I do like about it is it retains moisture really, really well. As you can see, a nice full shed here. Uh, one of my females. Um, I used to use aspen for my snakes and my rats. I just about a month ago changed off my snakes and went to this. And right, it's awesome. It holds moisture really, really well, but it doesn't stay. It doesn't stay, you know, real damp, so the snake's not laying on moisture. But you can tell the moisture's in there. Um, so it's doing a really good job on the snakes. They have really good sheds. This is winter time here, so. I uh, began to wonder before I started using this, I was, you know, going around missing everybody I seen going into shed, and I was still getting a few rough sheds here and there, so, uh, so far I'm really liking this product, though. Uh, it's really easy to clean up, too. Uh, spot cleaning is, you know, it's about the same with aspen, it's not any harder, not any easier, really. It is mold resistant, so it doesn't, uh, doesn't mold as much, but it does mold. Uh, nothing like aspen, though. I tried aspen before. And I soaked the bedding down, and then within a week, I had to change all the bedding out. Uh, it was just getting mold everywhere. Um, when I do my cleanings, I'll find like a little patch of mold here and there. Uh, it could be from, you know, feces or urates that, you know, you don't really see, just small amounts. Um, or, you know, it's just from being wet all the time. But it's just a spot here and there. It's nothing like what Aspen would do. So, I've been in just checking this out. He's always curious. Um, so, I definitely give this... Uh, this product a thumbs up. I think it's working really great for the animals. And uh, I'll continue to use it and I'll update as time goes on. I figure while I'm doing the video, I might as well show one of the big girls. While I'm waiting for eggs, you can see the hump center and her back's kind of ridged up. Uh, you know, you kind of start seeing her spine starting to protrude a little bit. So she's definitely got some eggs in her. I'm impatiently waiting for them. Um, but the breeding's going really good. Uh, all my females have locked up several times, except for one. My chocolate cinnamon girl just does not want to do anything with any male I've thrown in there. So maybe she's just not ready this season. I'll keep trying her, and we'll we'll find out. This big girl's coming to get us. Ah, 3D. I'm also do a little update too on the uh, one eye little bumblebee. Uh, he's still doing great. Still thriving. I'm still assist feeding him, um, although last time he got a little bit aggressive with the food, so um, you know, hopefully here in the next few more feedings he'll, uh, he'll start trying it on his own, but he's still kicking it, so anyway, thanks for watching the video, uh, please like and subscribe if you enjoyed it, and uh, if you're looking for some new bedding, definitely give this a try, alright, thanks.